So previously we talked about repositories in Spring Data, and for the most part, our repositories are very barren, very functional. We still get tons of methods with our JPA repository uh, extension interface, but that doesn't even hold a candle to what is powerful or what is capable with something called query methods. Query methods are incredibly powerful and even though we still get all of this functionality, it's it's absolutely mandatory to understand how you can even extend on top of the repositories that we already have. And there's many ways to do this. I'm going to show you probably what you will need as a junior developer, but I'm also going to show you some things that you're going to need when you start working and just touch on those. But for right now, we are go I'm going to show you how you can quickly just add a method into here and the actual J, uh, Spring Data JPA will automatically create SQL for you. It's absolutely amazing. So the way that you do it, the easy way, there's very difficult technical ways to do this as well too, but one of the best and the easiest ways to do this is to just go into your actual repository. You can go into here and let's just say we want to find um, the actual Pokemon and the reviews with the Pokemon, what you can do is you can find reviews by the Pokemon ID. And this would normally boil down to creating joins and having to do all types of complex uh, SQL queries or write very uh, relatively complex SQL queries. But in here, you can literally just type in this and it will automatically generate the actual query for you. It's um, pretty amazing. So you like, well, Teddy, how does it actually do this? I mean, we're just putting a method inside of an interface. It can't just generate a SQL query for us. Well, what's going to happen is Spring Data has an algorithm that's going to parse this right here and parse your actual um, line of abstract code right here, at, like an abstract method. And it's going to divide it up and it's going to make an SQL query based on this predicate or subject predicate um, pattern. So first you have to be able to identify a subject. So we have a subject, we have a predicate, and the subject is going to be defined by, and the predicate is going to be the name. It's going to be the actual thing that you are searching for. So we have find by name, and look how many different ways that you can divvy this up. You can find by, you can read by, you can get by, you can also have ands, ors, and you can quickly find by title and you can even do things like search. There's a SQL like, if you don't know what a SQL like is, that's okay as well too, but you can do starting with find by title is, and you can quickly see how this very powerful naming convention or this naming structure can make it so that you don't have to write very complex SQL queries. So in here, you may notice, but hey, this one's a little bit different. What, what about the Pokemon ID? You can find nested queries. This is how you find nested queries. So we're in the review repository now, but if you want to go in and you want to find nested data, or if you want to be able to actually search by uh, in a different table, what you do is you have this Pokemon ID pattern here. And what it will do is it will go inside the Pokemon uh, actual entity and it will find the ID. And there's even cases too, where if you're out, if the algorithm cannot figure out what you're trying to do or what nested actual data structure you're trying to go into, you can put a, um, underscore there and this denotes that you are trying to go into a actual nested entity and sorry I didn't mean to delete that okay I uh, guess I deleted it for good so this guess we just need to move on so already went through that but there's also ways that you can also add your own SQL you can add this annotation for query up above and you can insert your own SQL I'm expecting I didn't expect anybody to know SQL, but this is how you do it. If you want to input raw SQL into the actual JPA repository, you can do, do it just by adding this query annotation and adding it 
um, to the top of the JPA repository interface. So that is enough. Let's go ahead into here and we're going to actually start building this out. So obviously first place that you want to start, you want to start in your repository and we're going to make a query method that's going to allow us to go within our repository and be able to create uh, a method that will search for nested query. So we go down into here, we're gonna go review, and within here, we'll go find by Pokemon ID. So find by, so find by, and the IntelliSense from IntelliJ is going to do a lot of this for us. So IntelliSense knows what's, what, what we're trying to do and it's going to try to finish this out for us. So we'll go in here and we'll add the Pokemon ID. And that should be pretty much it. We still have to test it, but that is how you go into a nested repository. So if you want to go inside the Pokemon and you want to find a Pokemon by the ID and you want to find a repository that's associated with it, you, that's exactly what you do. And you can put the underscore right there. And if you want to search, just say for instance, you want to search by the actual um, reviews, you would just put the ID instead of having the Pokemon. So I hope that didn't confuse you and I hope that makes sense, but that's what you would do. Okay, so now we've got our repository figured out. Let's go ahead and let's move on to the review repository. And for the review repository, what we want to do, or the review service, I'm sorry, what we want to do is we want to get reviews by the Pokemon ID. So we'll go into here and we're going to go list and we'll go review DTO and we will get reviews by Pokemon ID. So Pokemon ID, just like that. And we are going to pass in an int of ID and we're gonna bring in a list. So we go in here, go ahead, bring in that list looking good so now what we want to do is we want to go into our actual review service and we're going to go ahead and we're going to implement this so now we need to now we've got our infrastructure built we need to actually go in here and we need to uh, actually build out the implementation of this and this is going to be pretty simple and all this will entail is just going and getting the actual reviews and using what we built in the uh, repository. Okay, so here we're gonna go review. So we'll go review here and we're going to get other reviews. And then we will have our review repository dot find Pokemon ID. And it's gonna pass in that int. So we'll go Pokemon. We can just pass in an ID just like this, just for that Pokemon. Okay, and, but we can't stop there. Now what we need to do is we need to return. So we'll go return, and we're going to return the actual reviews that we get. So what's going to get, what we're going to get back is a list, but we need a stream to actually be able to act on this. So we need to convert it to a stream. Then we go into here, we're gonna map. Um, it's just gonna give us one review, and for that each review, we're going to map it to a DTO. We will pass in the um, review. Let me see here. Okay, yeah, we want to pass in that review because we want to map it. And if we do, or what we do get back, we want to actually turn it back into a list. So you need to make sure that you have this here, this here because it's going to return it back into a list. Okay, so now what we want to do is we need to actually build out the controller. Relatively simple. You guys know the deal. Let's go ahead and build out this controller. It'll be really simple. So what we want to do here is it's going to be a git, obviously, because we are getting certain types of Pokemon. And what we are going to make for our API endpoint is going to be Pokemon. We'll go Pokemon and we'll have a Pokemon ID, and we'll give this reviews. So it'd be API Pokemon, Pokemon reviews. Okay, and then we have public, then we'll have list, and the list, um, we've got our review DTO, so we don't need to make that. We'll have our review DTO, and this review DTO will be get reviews by Pokemon ID. So we'll go 
by Pokemon ID. Okay, and this say this variable equal to value is equal to the actual Pokemon ID. So go Pokemon ID. Okay, and we will return a int of Pokemon ID. So we'll go Pokemon ID and wrap this in a new response entity. Actually, we can return a list, so let's just return a list. We've already got our list here. Probably doesn't. Um, still going to return okay anyway, I think. So let's just go here. So we'll go review.service, get reviews by Pokemon ID, and Pokemon ID is going to be passed in here. Okay, so that looks good. Um, let's go ahead, run it, and let's see what we get. And I'm just going to go ahead here. I'm going to fire up Postman. Okay. And I'm going to add a request here. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this. So we'll say get reviews by Pokemon. Okay. And HTTP slash slash localhost equal to 8080 and let me see the API so API slash Pokemon slash one and then pass in the reviews okay let's go ahead and see what we get and all of these are associated with the first Pokemon. So those are going to be all the reviews for the specific Pokemon that we are trying to target. Anyways, that's going to be the video. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.